What is up guys, Paul James here, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you what the heck is going on with Google Maps. I've been doing a lot of research because I started getting a lot of feedback back from my customers saying that they're noticing clients disappearing and noticing like weird stuff going on with maps. I've noticed some weird stuff going on myself. Um, like for instance, one of my listings, I had the address turned off, the service area turned off because that particular client serves customers at their location and Google like just randomly switched it on. So there's definitely some things going on. I don't think it's too big of a deal, thankfully, um, that we've seen worse updates than this. So this update's not bad. It's not anything that can't be corrected, but there are some things going on. So if you've noticed some shift in your listings, uh, this video is going to help cover that and um, kind of share some tips and tricks on what you can actually do. So if you've noticed that your client was once ranking and then now isn't, you don't see them anymore, it's probably less likely that you've actually been deranked and more likely that your business has actually been filtered. I've been doing a lot of research on this and looking at various researches like Search Engine Land and Local Search Form, and I've been seeing a lot of reports coming in. And what I gather from those reports, and then I kind of went and tested it myself, is that what's actually happening is you're getting filtered. What I mean by filtered is that if you have like, let's say a duplicate address, you might be filtered. Let's take a dentist for example. If you have a dentist office as a client and there's three dentists in that location and they're all using the same address, there's a good chance that Google's only going to show one of those dentists rather than all of them. So there's actually a cool little trick that I learned about that you can use to find out if you've been filtered or not. All right guys, so here I'm doing a search for a Chicago dentist. And in the three pack, you'll notice there's no listing that is titled Downtown Dental. So if we click more places here, again, on the side, nothing. But if we actually go and zoom in one level, you can see Downtown Dental now appears. So if you see something like that happened where you were previously ranking for the keyword in the three pack and you're no longer not, you may wanna go and try that out. I read about this on a forum and uh, it's a pretty cool tip to find out whether or not your listing is actually filtered or not. So in short, if you're able to like zoom in and you see it pop back up, you haven't been deranked necessarily, but you've been filtered. So what are some things that you can do to correct this and get your client back ranking or get yourself back ranking? Well, I would recommend number one is to check for duplicate listings. That seems to be something that is really affecting uh, this latest algorithm change, if you want to call it that, um, is duplicate listings. So go check and see if there's any other duplicate listings out there. Maybe it's something that's a simple tweak that you can make, like adding in additional suite number uh, to your location, like if you're working with a dentist client, maybe you can sub out the uh, address to have suite A, suite B, suite C, rather than everyone having the exact same address. Another thing I recommend you do, in addition to that, is go out there and do a citation cleanup. Check all of your citations, make sure that the addresses are matching properly, and make sure that everything is in order there, because consistency throughout those is pretty important. So. Uh, that's one thing that I could definitely see affecting that and having a big impact on these changes as well. And then worst case scenario is maybe consider getting an address closer to where your competitors are ranking. So go look at the three pack and see like what part of town they're located in and see if you can't maybe get a location uh, or address closer to them. Uh, you know, various methods, virtual office, mailbox rental, uh, all very grayish hat techniques, but nonetheless will work. Or you can uh, look into maybe borrowing someone's address or something like that. But that would also be another really good way to make sure that you're able to boost up there because we're seeing now that location um, is a big deal. And people have said this for a while, there's been kind of mixed reviews on whether what part of town you are is important. And sometimes it can be, sometimes it's not. But if you're seeing yourself filtered, it could be an important factor of why that's happening. All right, so I hope that this video was helpful for you. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, comment below. I feel like I haven't done one of these videos in a while, um, so I'll keep pumping up content if you go ahead and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you next time.